Bent over tricep extensions. Those are actually a lot harder than they look. I was only using 15 pound dumbbells and they're pretty challenging to do when you have the form nice and strict and you're not getting too sloppy or using too much momentum. So the toughest part about this exercise is one, being in that hip hinge and not cheating and coming up. So you really have to lock yourself over in this horizontal position. Okay, so notice how I'm pushing the hips back. The knees aren't really bending, but I'm leaning the torso forward. So that way I'm nice and balanced. I could just chill here if I wanted to, but it is a lot of stress on the hamstrings. So make sure you have tight, ham uh, strong hamstrings before you do this. The next step is keeping the elbows up and back like this. It's very common for people to start here, but as soon as they start extending the, the elbow, the arms will lower down here instead of staying up here. So their reps will look like this. All right, that's pretty much cheating. You're not gonna get much out of that. So you wanna keep the elbows up and back and make sure you keep them there and then extend at the arms, then back in. I would suggest using something to hold yourself up against such as maybe the weight rack or find a bench somewhere. So I found a bench and you're gonna practice using one at a time. So you can kneel it, kneel on here, just like this, row it up, but keep it there. And then just extend at the elbow, then back down. You'll get more out of this exercise being very strict and getting quality reps as opposed to just cheating and using momentum to swing the arm back. I would suggest starting off maybe just doing one arm at a time on a bench before hopping into both at the same time.